First off, we need to create a public IP address. I'm going to use the command az network public dash IP create command to do this. Um, I'm going to use a resource group I already have called pixel dash general dash UKS. And I'm going to call my public IP pixel dash AKS dash pip for public IP. Um, and I'm going to use the allocation method static. So I'm just going to copy this command first into my bash window which i have already logged into my azure subscription this will go off and create me my public ip address and give me a nice json output good news that created correctly as you can see here i've got the ip address 51.140.94.22 i'm just going to copy this because i need it for later in fact i will enter that into my yaml file i have here because i'm going to use that later um, if for some reason you miss this bit and you need to get back the IP address, you can use the portal or you can use my next command, which um, basically just does a show um, for the IP address in that resource group and that puts it into a nice little easy to see um, message just there. Now that we have our public IP, it's time to give the service principle used by the AKS cluster the delegated permissions to the resource group the public IP address resides in. To do that, I have a bit more code here. So what we're going to do is you need to um, enter the resource group for your public IP address, enter the resource group for your Kubernetes services, enter your Kubernetes services name. Um, so in my case, pixel win AKS. Um, that's all you have to edit. Once you've got all of that, just copy this whole bit of code and run that in your bash window. This will basically go off and um, this will yeah, basically just go off and give the correct delegated permissions on your uh, resource group. There we go. That's completed successfully. Next, we need to actually create our uh, YAML file to create the service, which will associate a load balancer with this new public IP address. So if we just open up Nano, And then I have the information here, which is also in the accompanying blog post. So I'm just going to uh, copy the YAML file and paste it into there. All you need to do really is change your load balancer IP to the one from before. And if you want to, you can change the name or leave it as it is. Just going to uh, save that. And I'm going to call it Azure LB pip for Azure load balancer pip. YAML. So we just uh, paste that into there. Yes, I want to overwrite because I have one already. And then I hit exit. Now it's time to actually apply this YAML file using the kube cuttle apply command. This shouldn't take long. There we go. Um, now we can actually watch as the service associates the IP address with the service we use the kubectl get service the name of the service which was on the yaml file with the dash dash watch as you can see the external ip is currently pending this um, can take a little while um, all depends how busy azure is there we go we now have our external ip address our public ip address associated with our new service and load balancer Nice and easy to use an already created or newly created public IP address with your Kubernetes services from Azure. I hope you found this video helpful and if you liked it, why not give it a thumbs up? You could also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted every time that I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.